Hello guys, Dhanjay here and welcome back to a new video and as per the ritual, Android Pie ROM videos are going to kick off with the Xiaomi Mi 3 and yes, this device is still alive, Android Pie is available for this device which is 3 or 4 years old now if your device does not have that and uh, I feel really sad for you but stable Android Pie ROM is available for this device in this video, I'll show you guys how to install that ROM. Unfortunately, my device is not booting up. I don't remember which ROM I flashed last time, but the device does boot into TWRP recovery. And I'm assuming that you have already unlocked the bootloader and you have flashed TWRP recovery. Then you just need to boot into that. And for that, hold the power button and volume up button together for a few seconds until and unless you see the me logo over here. TWRP recovery was already installed on this device. Android Pie, which is Android 9.0, requires you to use a different TWRP recovery. Older TWRP recoveries will not work or may not work. And as the developer has asked us to use a different TWRP recovery, we are going to use that. So I have already moved all the important files such as ROM file and the G apps file. I have also copied the new TWRP image file. And to see that, just click on install image. Once again, scroll down, you will see this recovery.img. Link of this particular recovery will be linked in the description box below. So do not worry about that. If you want to install new recovery, this is the way to do it. Going to install, copy the .img file in the internal storage of your device. Click on install image, select the recovery package and select recovery over here. Do not select boot vendor or something else. Select recovery if that file is a recovery file, which is quite obvious. Then select swipe to confirm flash and the TWRP recovery will be flashed. Now, this is not the new recovery. This is the older recovery. If you want to boot into new TWRP recovery, then click on reboot and click on recovery over here and click on do not install. The device will boot back into the new TWRP recovery. So apparently the device is not booting up automatically. I guess I'll have to do it manually then. Uh, let's hold volume up button and power button together for a few seconds. Okay, it, it, it showed the Mi logo as soon as I did that. So maybe it's booting up, I'm not sure. Okay, so it's booting into Team Win Recovery, which is multi-ROM TWRP 3.1.1.0. And yes, Xiaomi Mi 3 also has multi-ROM support. And if your device does not have that, even if your device was launched in 2017 or 2018, uh, I can't do anything, but still. Now, going to wipe. Select swipe to factory reset. This will wipe everything that we need to wipe. Now it is showing that battery is 1% but actually the battery is not 1% but as a precautionary measure, I'm going to connect a USB cable to this device so that the device does not shut down uh, in between the process and the device. I, and basically I don't want this device to get bricked. So I'm, I have just connected USB cable for safety purposes. Now going to install and now it's normal procedure. Select the ROM zip file, select swipe to confirm flash. Now once the ROM file is flashed, go back and select the gapps package. No, you don't have to do that over here. Here you are supposed to click on reboot and click on system, click on do not install. Let the ROM boot into a system which is Android Pie system and then we need to boot back into recovery and then flash the gapps package. If you flash the gapps package immediately, you may face uh, setup wizard uh, four stop or something like that. So that's why boot into the ROM before flashing gapps package. So now I can't see anything off the ROM, I can't do anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the power button and then let the device reboot by itself. And even the developer says that if you face the black screen issue, reboot the device manually uh, like by holding the power button. Now the device will boot back into the system hopefully. So as you can see the device has booted into the system as I said earlier, let's go. And yes, SIM card, Wi-Fi and all the necessary things that you'll require with the Mi 3 are working fine. Uh, as you can see, Wi-Fi is working as well. I'm not going to set up any, anything. I hope that you have moved on from Mi 3 to another device. Hopefully, if you are still using Xiaomi Mi 3 as your primary device, do let me know about that in the comment section box below. But if you have it as your secondary device and if this is still your favorite device, then do let me know about that in the comment section box as well. Uh, let's select Google Now Launcher as of now. Play Store is already installed on this device without installing the G Apps package, which is kinda confusing for me. I guess it was pre-installed with the ROM. 
and the developer had added few of this stuff what we are going to do is we are going to boot back into the system so click on power off once the device switches off click hold the volume up button and power button together so that we'll boot back into the recovery mode once the device boots into TWRP recovery go into install select the G apps package and you have to select the, this G apps arm cancro package only uh, do not select 64 bit package because Snapdragon 801 uh, or Snapdragon 800 in this particular device if I'm not wrong does not support 64 bit gaps because the processor is based on 32 bit system so use the gapps package which is linked in the description box below or you can go on open gapps.org as well but do not select 64 bit gapps package those are not going to work with the xiaomi mi 3 once the gapps package is flashed click on reboot system click on do not install over here and the device will boot back into the system and the device has booted up successfully so this is how the launcher is going to look let's go into settings and let's go into system about phone mi 3w this rom will also work on xiaomi mi 4 and mi 4 lte and lte is working for mi 4 as well so just in case if you have those devices you can flash this rom by using the exact same process on your device now android version is 9 which means android pi uh, let's go back and the, as i said there are no major bugs but there are few bugs in this rom and there are going to be bugs considering this is a four year old device and not a lot of people are using the roms developers are not going to be hugely interested in the device but it's great to see xiaomi mi 3 having android pi port which has most of the necessary things working on this particular device as i said and if you want to know more about android pi watch this video over here so currently camera app is not working for me but i'm sure that the developer is working towards this and next build of this particular rom will fix this issue there are a few other things which you can do on your device by installing a magisk module of mi a2 you can get the camera working or things like that all those links will be present in the description box below do go through the xda thread of this particular rom to know more about this rom and which things are working and which things are not working if you guys enjoyed this video then don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you still have any more doubt sessions or queries regarding the mi 3 then do let me know about that in the comment section box below by the way if any one of you is using mi 3 as their primary device even now oh my god then do let me know about that in the comment section box below your comment will be pinned for sure and go through the description box once before installing this rom after watching this video as well click on my face to get subscribed because many more awesome videos on android pi are going to come real soon on the channel you can watch this video over here to know more about android pi or android p or android 9.0 i'll stop talking over here and it was great to make a video on xiaomi mi 3 once again after such a long time so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching